Oh, but Mr. Thornton, I couldn't possibly accept this bracelet. Well, nonsense. I want you to have it. Well, I don't know what to say. No need to say anything. It's only gold. Only gold? Well, sure. You see, if a gentleman gives you diamonds, rubies, or emeralds, it's permissible to say thank you. But he gives you gold, you need hardly acknowledge it. <laughs> well, I'm afraid by the time a gentleman gives me emeralds, I'll be saying, roll my wheelchair to the window so I can see them in the light. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm glad you like the bracelet. Oh, I do. But I haven't done anything to deserve it. Nothing to deserve it? Why, Susie, I owe you a tremendous debt of gratitude just for bringing the play to my attention. Oh, I'm so pleased you like it. It's so hard today to sell new playwrights, and I think Tyler Boone is very gifted. You're so right. He's sensitive. The play is beautifully constructed. It's full of drama and suspense. You know, I bet you it'll be one of my biggest hits. Oh, you do? So why are you giving me only gold? <laughs> You're right. Emeralds are in order. As a matter of fact, for discovering a writer like Tyler Boone, you deserve a piece of the play. Well? <laughs> Hello, Susie. Oh, good morning. Martin, I hope I haven't kept you waiting. Well, you have, but the time has been well spent. As a matter of fact, I wish you'd stayed away longer. <laughs> what about Tyler Boone? He in yet? No, not yet. His plane was delayed, and he said he'd come here directly from the airport. Oh, let me know the minute he arrives. Thornton, come on in. I want to discuss the play with you. All right. Oh, uh, Susie, by any chance, would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Do I get to eat, too? The best. It's a date. Pick you up at 7.30? Okay. alone. I think so. Why? Well, I heard you saying I scarcely know what to say and thank you very much. What did you get? This. Oh, it's staggering. You know, it's gold. Oh, gold. Gold? Uh, uh, anything else? What do you mean, anything else? Well, well, well I mean... Did he propose marriage or anything? Bye, he didn't propose marriage or anything. Oh, he will. I just know he will. I feel it deep down where I feel things. <laughs> oh, bye. Hello. Oh, you must be Tyler Boone. <laughs> I came straight from the airport. Oh, we've been waiting for you. I'm so glad to meet you. I'm Susan McNamara. And this is Miss Paskins, our receptionist. How do you do? I'm happy to meet you. I guess I'd better get back out there and be a little receptive. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Thornton, your producer's in with Mr. Sands. M Miss McNamara? Yes. I don't know how I can ever thank you for, well, everything you've done for me. I mean, your wonderful letters of encouragement your suggestions about my play. Yeah, I, I can't tell you how thrilling it was to sit in my lonely room in Kansas City and read your letters. Well, that's very sweet of you to say that. I, I didn't really expect to find you like this. I mean, I thought you'd be efficient and competent and <laughs> kind of uh, middle-aged. I didn't think you'd be pretty. You mean I didn't mention that in all of my letters? Uh, that's a joke, sir, uh, Mr. Boone. <laughs> well, come along and, and meet the gentleman. He's here. Oh, Mr. Sands. How do you do? Mr. Boone and Mr. Thornton, Mr. Happy Boone. Happy to meet you, Tyler. How do you Thornton. do? I'm so pleased to meet you. I'm so glad you're going to be doing my play. Believe me, the pleasure's mine, Boone. It's going to be a smash. I'm sure it will be. You're one of the few men around who really understands theater. Well, it's very nice of you to say that. As a matter of fact, I consider you the most promising new playwrights in Shakespeare. You have insight and sensitivity. You have taste and intelligence. You have courage and foresight. You have integrity and ability. And I have very little time. Now, let's talk about the production. Susie, take some notes, will you? Yes, sir. Now, first of all, I feel very strongly that we need a change of attitude in the scene where Dorothy tells Parker that she loves him. I mean, I don't feel that Parker would behave the way he does. I, I think he would listen to her. I think he'd be uh, sympathetic. He would try to explain to her the reason they couldn't be married. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh, 
terribly sorry, Peter. My mind was wandering. Susie, would you read your notes back, please? Yes, sir. First of all, I feel very strongly that we need a change of attitude in the scene where Dorothy tells Parker she loves him. I mean, she feels that Parker wouldn't behave the way he does. Either he would listen to her, I think he would be sympathetic, he would explain. No, thank you very much, Susie. You may go now. We won't take any more notes at this meeting, or there won't be any meeting. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, you two stay here. <laughs> Sit down. Well, I'm glad we cleared up those points. Now, let's meet again tomorrow morning, same time, huh? Fine, yeah. Uh, Susie, I was, uh, wondering, maybe we could have dinner tonight together. It is my first night in town. I'm afraid Miss McNamara is having dinner with me. <laughs> well, how about tomorrow night? Oh, sure, that'll be swell. I should get to bed early tonight anyhow. Well, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, you think you're outside? Oh, fine. Bye. He doesn't waste any time, does he? Oh, he's just a stranger. He probably wants someone to talk to. Well, he's gonna have to look somewhere else. I'll pick you up at seven, huh? Morning, bye. Good morning, Susie. Oh, I'm glad you're early. I'm dying to hear about last night. Well, it was a wonderful evening. Of course, Mr. Thornton is a bit of a wolf. But once he finds out, you know he's actually very sweet. Tyler Boone asked all kinds of questions about you yesterday. He did? What kind of questions? Do you have a steady boyfriend? Are you in love? Things like that. He did? Yes, he did cross my heart, Susie. I think he has a crush on you. Oh, don't be silly. We've only just met. Haven't you ever heard of love at first sight? Now, by stop being romantic. The boy is just lonely. I suppose Bailey Thornton is just lonely, too. Oh, well, I know. Oh, Susie, stop being so calm and collected. You're in the middle of a triangle. It's the most exciting thing I ever heard. Love everywhere. You know, you should take notes and write a book. No. Why not? Well, if I wrote a book, they'd serialize it in a magazine. Then they'd do it as a play. Then Hollywood would buy it and make a great big production of it. And before I knew it, I'd be so rich, I wouldn't know whether they loved me or my money. Susie. Morning, Vi. Good morning. Well, good morning. You're early. The others haven't arrived. I know. I want to see you and tell you how much I enjoyed last night. Yeah. It, uh, The press duck was good, wasn't it? You know very well what I'm talking about. How about dinner again tonight, huh? Oh, I'd love it. Oh, I can't. I promised Tyler, remember? Oh, yes. Vi, uh -huh. oh. your board is buzzing. Oh, I don't hear anything. Something is buzzing. Oh, excuse me. Come on. Susie, is there anything between you and Boom? Well, not at the moment. What do you mean at the moment? Well, tonight... What about tonight? There may be a table between us. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Thornton. Good morning, Boone. <laughs> ah, everybody here. Well, Hello, good morning. Susie. Come on in, boys. Let's get to work. Here she comes now, just a moment. It's Mr. Boone. Boone? Good morning. My, you're up early. <laughs> I had a wonderful time last night. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I promised Mr. Thornton. <laughs> well, last night was charming, Mr. Thornton. But I did promise Tyler Boone for tonight. <laughs> Peter, I want out. Thornton, what's the matter with you? I want out, that's all. I don't want to do Tyler Boone's play. What? What? Why not? Will you stop asking a lot of silly questions and just get me out? Silly questions? You come tearing in here and tell me you don't want to do a play you're crazy about. I'm not crazy and... about it. I hate it. Thornton, what's got into you? You know you don't hate that play. Oh, well, let me tell you. I'm I... glad you're here, Thornton, because this concerns you. 
I don't want you doing my play. Is that so? Well, I got a fat flash for you. I just told Peter I wouldn't touch your play with a 10-foot pole. And on second consideration, I wouldn't touch it with a 20-foot pole. That suits me fine. I don't think you know the first thing about theater. And you're the worst new playwright to appear on the scene since, since Nero burned Rome. You haven't any taste or intelligence. And you're completely lacking in courage and foresight. You have no integrity or ability. You have Gentlemen, answer. gentlemen, will you please tell me what has gotten into the two of you? Mr. Sands, if it's agreeable with Mr. Thornton here, I'd like to have all agreements between us canceled. I'm not only agreeable, I'm ecstatic. Now hold it, hold it right where you are. Susie, come in here. Well, I'll gladly refund your auction money. Save it and go back to roast beef Idaho, wherever you came from. Yes, sir. Oh, Susie, listen, I'll explain about all Susie, this Susie, don't let any of this upset you. Take your hands off her. I saw a first bone. If you don't take your hands off her, you'll never see anything again. Why, are you... Why, gentlemen, you're bending me. What in blazes does Susie have to do with this? I want him to stop bothering her. You want me? Now, uh, please, please, Mr. Thornton, I don't know what... Susie, you'll never have to go out with this oaf again. Susie, I know you're being nice to him just because of me. Oh, no, now, really, I think you both are both behaving awfully. International artist, good afternoon. Oh, just a moment. I'll see if he's in, Mr. Hunter. That's fine. Oh, put him on. Hello, Gordon. How are you? Uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. You're what? Now, look, Gordon, I don't know where you heard that vicious rumor, but I assure you it is not true. This play will be produced as per contract. There's no need for you to sue anybody. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Goodbye. Hasn't Susie come back yet? Oh, oh no, not yet, Mr. Sands. Well, if she doesn't come back soon, she may not have a job to come back to. Well, what happened? Gordon Hunter is going to sue me. That's what's happened. I've already signed him for the lead in Tyler Boone's play. Now, if Susie doesn't get Thornton and Boone back together again, I will be hauled into court on breach of contract. Oh, dear. You can say that again. Oh, dear. <laughs> And just when things were going so romantically for Susie. Romance, huh? Just when love was blooming everywhere. Who needs love? A simple cold will make you just as feverish, make your eyes just as watery, make you take just as many aspirin, make your nose just as red. I think love is very, very important. Why, it's what makes humans different from animals like those. I don't think horses fall in love. Do you? I never discussed the matter with a horse. The biggest deal of the year. Gone. Down the drain. Just like that. Susie, why did you have to start something like this? Well, what did I start? Well, you saw how they were carrying on about you. Susie, I am terribly sorry, but I must ask you not to flirt with the clients. Flirting? Oh, Mrs. Sand. They look like a couple of lovesick hippopotami. Well, I don't care if they look like lovesick water buffalo. I didn't flirt with either one of them. Then how did they get in that state? Well, I didn't even know they were in a state. You must have vamped them. Vamped them? Oh, Mr. Sand. Well, you dated them, didn't you? Well, yes, but what... From now on, I don't want you mingling with the customers. Well, very well. I'll hide under the desk when they come in. Yes, where are you going? To my office. Where else should I be going? To call on Thornton and Boone. That's where you should be going. But why? Well, if you're so chummy with them, maybe you can get them together. Now, Mr. Sand, you just got through telling me I shouldn't mingle with the customers. And furthermore, I have no intention of mingling with hippopotami, lovesick, or otherwise. You will call on Thornton and Boone and try to effect a reconciliation. Oh, but Mr. Sands, I'm absolutely no good at reconciliation. If you can flirt, you can reconcile. Now, get going. <laughs> Mr. Thornton, you shouldn't feel this way about Tyler. He hasn't done anything. Hasn't done anything? 
Just comes to town and takes over like he owns it. But takes over what? You! Now, he hasn't taken me over. He doesn't own me, nor for that matter, do you. No, oh, Susie, if you only knew the way I feel about you. Well, how do you feel about me? I adore you. Well, you're just costing me my job. That's how much you adore me. I get you any job you like. But I like the job I have. You're too good for it. <laughs> what do you want to be? Want to be a movie star? An executive? A ballerina? I want to be what I am, where I am. But I can give you everything in the world. But I have everything. I mean, I don't want everything. I just want you to be friends with Tyler. Oh, how can you mention his name to me at a time like this? Well, how can I talk about what I came to talk about without mentioning Tyler's name? You did it again. Oh, all right. Now, if you want to make me happy, you reconcile with you-know-who. I am not infatuated with you-know-who, even though he fancies himself infatuated with me. So why ruin his career? Please make friends. No. Please? No. Pretty please? Absolutely no. <laughs> The answer is no. I will not give my play back to Thornton. He's a cheap, conniving wolf. Now, you mustn't say those things. He speaks very well of you. <laughs> I'll bet. Tyler, you realize you may not get another production for your play. I don't care. I'm prepared to go back to my teaching job in Kansas City. Susie, come with me. Please come with me. Where? To Kansas City. You'd love it there. Life is simple and uncomplicated. People are real. Emotions are real. We could live in bliss for the rest of our lives in Kansas City. Tyler, I don't want to go to Kansas City. I'm sure it's a lovely place, but I'm very happy here. And I love my job, which I'm about to lose. And I love my apartment, which I won't be able to afford now. And I love my life, which Mr. Sands is about to bring to an end. Susie, I could make you happy. Yes, you can. How? By going back with Thornton. Never. Oh, Tyler, please. No, never. Please. Absolutely never. Freddie, please. <laughs> Left. He left a little while ago. Did you straighten things out between Mr. Thornton and Mr. Boone? No. Too bad. Well, as I always say, nothing makes friends like a common enemy. Yes. <laughs> what is it you always say, Larry? Nothing makes friends like a common enemy. A common enemy? Vi, that is positively inspirational. That's just divine. Oh, honey, listen, do me a favor tonight and, and call me at 7.15. Well, surely, but why? Yes, never mind. Just call me, huh? But, 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 yes, but, call but, but, me, but, honey, Susie, why? 7.15. But, 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 <laughs> Oh, I'd have been earlier if you'd let me. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Well, come in, come in, sit down. Thank you. Uh, I presume these are for me. Oh, but naturally they're for me. <laughs> well, I'll just put them in ink. In ink? Oh, well, that's just a little joke. <laughs> I get so tired of that old cliche. I'll put them in water. <laughs> when you get flowers as often as I do. Oh? You get flowers that often? Oh. Uh, you should have seen the mountains I threw out this morning. This apartment looks as if we'd had a wedding. Oh, Susie, speaking of weddings, oh, now listen. Oh, I never should have said that word. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Uh, excuse me. Tyler, well, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I have a date with her. Well, that's impossible because I have. Oh, are you sure I didn't tell you 7.15 tomorrow night? Well, no, Susie. You said tonight. 7.15. 7.15. Well, then I should have... I, I bet I told you tomorrow night. Oh, no, you didn't. You said tonight. Oh, dear. Now, how could I have made that mistake? Oh, well, never mind. Come on in. Oh, aren't these beautiful? Thank you. <laughs> Susie, I hope this isn't a trick just to get Thornton and me together. Why, Tyler, how could you think such a... Uh oh, there's the phone. I didn't hear anything. There, you see? <laughs> how did you know that was going to ring? Oh, 
I don't know. Some people predict horse races, some people predict weather, I predict phone calls. <laughs> oh, well, now you two just sit down and try not to massacre each other, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, Steve, darling. I didn't know you were back in town. Well, of course I have. Susie, can't you hear me? This is Vi, not Steve. Oh, now, don't you say things like that, Steve. You're very naughty. Now, who else's good little girl would I be? <laughs> well, you know there's never been anyone else. No, I can't say it now. I'm not alone. My, um, my Aunt Sarah is here. <laughs> well, darling, I can't. All right, I love you. Susie, this is a very bad connection. I, I just can't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> Hang up and I'll call you right back. <laughs> That's just dandy. <laughs> Sorry, that was my old Uncle Ezra. He just got into town. Do tell. Really? Oh, oh, there's the phone. See, I told you. Excuse me. Hello? Susie, can you hear me better now? George! How many times have I told you not to call me here? Here we go again. George, you know there isn't anyone else. Well, there never has been. No, we must really talk about it. Oh, please, George, I can't tonight. No, no, I have a date. In fact, I have two dates. Oh, no, no. Of course they don't mean anything to me. All right, I'll get rid of them and call you back. Yes. <laughs> Tyler, I don't know about you, but I've suddenly developed a splitting headache. I'm with you. Oh, the most awful thing has happened. Don't tell us. Your Uncle Ezra just has to see you. Well, how did you know? You see, he's my mother's favorite brother, and I can't very well refuse him. That does it. Are you ready to go, Tyler? Hm. Go? Well, where are you going? Oh, come off it, Susie. We heard. You mean you listened? No, no, honey, we heard. You heard? Oh, I could kill myself. Oh, well, that's entirely up to you. Uh-oh. The phone is ringing. I didn't hear it. Mine. Come on, Ty, I'll buy you a drink. If you'll excuse us. Now, gentlemen, you really don't understand. Please let me explain. Put these in ink. Oh, Tyler, wait for me. Hello? Hello, Mr. Sand. Oh, Susie, yes, I was just leaving. Huh? You did? Good girl, I knew you could do it. <laughs> yes, they're thicker than ever. Oh, and Mr. Sands, no matter what you think, I did not flirt with them. <laughs> Good night. Okay. See you in the morning. Good night. Oh, well, what am I going to do tonight? <laughs> Hello? Hello, George. Come on over and play Scrabble. And bring Steve. 